morning. Um, today is November 30th and for me this is vlogmas day one because I can't vlog and edit the same day like with my schedule so I hope you guys are okay with this. So I'm starting on November 30th and um, I have some fun content for you guys planned. If you don't know me my name is Brianna. I'm a 26 year old labor and delivery nurse um, based in Texas <laughs> and I've been doing YouTube for a few years now. I started off just like kind of sharing my journey through nursing school and now it's evolved to me just sharing my journey through nursing and also educating you guys like as I go along and as I learn more and more, especially about women's health um, and fertility things. So that's what I kind of focus in, specialize in. I also share my lifestyle and um, just regular everyday videos. So if you guys are interested in that, then stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna do Vlogmas for as long as I can, but I plan on going all the way through. But yes, so today is day one. I'm out walking my dog right now, but I do have, like I said, some fun videos planned for you guys. My friend actually, she, oh my gosh, my dog was doing like 10 spins before he pooched. Does anyone else's dog do that? <laughs> and she wanted me to come up with a birth plan um, for her. Do a birth plan meeting basically and just talk about her options, talk about um, things so that we can be prepared. So I'm gonna kind of share that with you guys today. And then I don't go back to work till tomorrow, but we'll start, we'll do a few work vlogs and then some other little updates and stuff. So I'm gonna go back inside and um, I'll catch up with you guys whenever I'm on the call with my friends. <laughs> So I went to the kitchen, got some Cheez-Its, <laughs> and I was eating Cheez-Its. I came back to bed, and Bree half sleep. She said, what are you eating? I said, I mean some Cheez-Its. She said, oh, did the girl uh, still want the epidural? And I paused, I paused, and I was like, and I was like, you know what? I'm bored. I've done nothing to do. I can't sleep. So I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> He was gonna entertain me. But I was upset because Bree didn't respond after that. I was hoping to get a conversation <laughs> out of her. And I was gonna record her, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. That is too funny. So just a quick qualification. I before I start asking my friend questions about her birth plan, I am not an OB, I am not a midwife, I am just a labor and delivery nurse, and I also do some doula things. So she felt comfortable talking to me about this um, as like a pre-pre-plan, but she's gonna take this to her midwife and get these all um, verified and have stuff that she can talk to her midwife about. Um, and that's just what she wanted to do. So do not take any of this as advice as to what you should do. I know my friend's health history and that's why I can ask her specific questions. But you guys need to consult with your healthcare provider, your OB, your midwife um, that knows your history individually before you take any advice from anywhere else, including this video. So I am not, I am a healthcare professional, but I'm not your healthcare professional. <laughs> I'm just hopeful that this segment may give you guys that are pregnant or thinking about being pregnant um, ideas of options that you may not have heard about from just regular media or from your family. It's, it's through the IV and it doesn't last for very long. Typically patients say that it lasts for like an hour or two, two hours, hour to two hours. Um, but once again, if you're getting pain medicine and stuff like that, you're gonna have to be in a hospital with an IV. There's, obviously there's way more birth, you know, like pain control methods other than just medicine too. Like you, you have like aromatherapy, you have, you can get in the bath, in the shower, you know, warm water helps. Um, just moving around helps a lot with, with labor pains. Um, I'm trying to think like back massage, like counter pressure. Yeah, people do that too, ice. And then they also do like combs because like if you squeeze the comb, it's supposed to like distract, you know, cause it's like digging into your hand. So it's like the pain of you squeezing the comb is supposed to distract you from the pain of the contractions. 
Um, and then have you heard of like hypnobirthing? It's kind of like positive affirmations like that you listen to while you're while you're laboring, but it's a little bit more, I guess, intense. Like it's like they have a regular hypnobirthing and they also have like a Christian hypnobirthing um, where it'll tell you like scriptures and it'll read scriptures to you in it. I haven't actually like listened to it, so I don't know for sure like what exactly it is, but just from what people have told me, it's, it's really good. Like it helps to keep your mind on like, you know, what you're looking forward to and like you're constantly thinking about, um, you know, your baby and like that your body can do this and all of that. And it helps a lot with labor is what people say. So even though it sounds crazy because it's hypnobirthing, I'm, I was like, wait a second now, I don't want to be hypnotized. But okay, so you want calming music, um, dim lights. Okay, so I'll tell you, people say that like sh getting in the shower, like I talked about earlier, like shower or bath, like the hot warm water on your back, they say that that helps a lot. So you might want to get it warm with an open back just so that you could like put the water on your back, you know, and not have your gown be all soaked. So there are medications for baby, obviously, after you deliver. So there's the hepatitis B vaccine, which is a vaccine that they do on all kids. It's like a set of three shots um, to protect the baby's liver. Um, so they'll give the first one right after delivery and then you'll get the other two like at your next two appointments um, whenever you go to the pediatrician's office. And then do you plan to breast or bottle feed? You know, in other countries, I thought this was so cool. They have, well, I mean, I think even here they have postpartum doulas. But basically, in other places, they'll come, and especially if you have a midwife deliver um, you, I think midwives will do this, but they'll come and check on you for like a few weeks after you deliver. So like, not every day, but like, you know, something like once or twice a week type of thing. And they'll come and check on you to make sure you're doing okay, like breastfeeding, you're doing okay, you know, with um, baby sleeping, you know, that your bleeding is okay. And like all the like all the things to do with baby, like they just come and make sure that you're doing okay, and that you're like handling everything well, like mentally. And I thought that was so cool. I'm like, why don't we do that in like normal, like in the hospital? You know? But I mean, we don't have enough staff, also. So <laughs> we'll do we'll do that. And they have it says on here for lactation consults, so I'll put that on there. Did you respond to my message? Do twins run in your family? Or are people just saying that? Anything can happen. You're right. I was just curious if it was also like a thing that was in your family too. season me and Keon are trying to be very intentional about the memories that we create together as a couple before we start our family so for our anniversary I wanted to gift him one gift for himself but also give him a gift that can be enriching to our relationship together so I gifted us tennis rackets and we've been learning to play tennis and it's been very fun, very challenging, but it has given us something fun and active to do together to get outdoors and enjoy the beautiful outdoors that the Lord has created as well as enjoy each other's company in a different space other than just being inside and being roommates and falling into the trap of the daily grind and we have really been loving it we have really enjoyed playing with each other and learning more about each other and we've been doing this for about five days this is our fifth day that you're seeing so we're getting better we're getting better <laughs> Thank you guys.
guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in vlogmas day two